This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and welcome to bispetrainings.com. My name is Neeraj and today I'm going to show you how you can use regular expression for mine your text data. We would be using email data. So let me explain the requirement. This is the learning series for data science beginners. In order to understand it well, let me explain the requirement. So my procurement team received the email from various vendors. We need a supporting staff, support staff like electricians, plumber, security. So my procurement team reach out to various vendor to take their inputs, uh, their services, their job code, the price codes and the various information. Many of time they get the requirement over email and this turns out to be quite a daunting task for them to filter this information. Because the procurement team receive the information in bulk, it has become a challenging and time taken task to filter the email and especially extracting the required information. If you look at my sheet now, we receive the email from one of the vendor and these are the services they provide. However, I do not have time and I do not my team doesn't want to spend plenty of time in going through every part of the email. They want to pick up some important keywords. And this is what exactly we are trying to do it today. So in this requirement, we would be dig into the text file and extract some required information. So my source is email from the procurement department. And then mine this data using regular expression and write back the output into another text file so that my procurement team can take the data from the summarized information, summarized text file. So let's understand, this is our requirement. We would be reading email data, which is saved as text file. It's actually a huge file. For the sake of simplicity, I've taken a small part of the file, and we would only be interested to find out the information about the company, their location, and the address, so that we can reach out to them for the subsequent communication. Okay. This is a simple example, and therefore I try to use a small part of the code. So we'll read the email and then we convert this. Uh, we apply various regular expression, convert it into a string, remove unwanted character, and finally write back this data to another text file. So this is our requirement. Let's go through the code line by line and explain you how it works. Okay. So what we are trying to do it, step one, we want to read this email, which is available in my text file, and then I pick up required keywords and words and then I write back into another text file and massage this data to the basic level. Okay. So step one, we are importing regular expression library and then I have created a variable over here called file name and my file exists into this location. It is actually a shared location where my procurement team collect all the email and put into text file. This process also we have automated through Python. I'll be teaching this process how to collect email and put it into text file. Then we use an open expression and we are reading this file, the procurement email file. And then we write this, read this file and put into a text box. It's a variable, file text, a variable. And I'm using over here find all expression because there may be more than one occurrence of certain keyword. Now look at this carefully. Find all expression. The first argument is a string I use over here. I would like to read the entire line starting with company. This is the first keyword I like to read. And dot star asterisk, as you see, it's a wildcard character. And according to Python documentation, this causes the resulting regular expression to match zero or more repetition of the preceding RE. Okay, so anything start with company would be read out in a multi-line character. So I use dollar symbol, which, which continue read the entire string till the end of the string or once you find a new line character. It means you read the entire line starting with company. And I'm going to write this into a variable called VAR, object variable, because this is object variable and I want to strip, uh, remove some character. We have got square braces and a couple of other character appear. We want to strip them out. And therefore, we convert this into a string because strip function applied to a string. I convert into a string and I strip these two characters, opening parenthesis, square braces, and closing square braces because it will store the information in terms of tuples. I'll show you this information. Then you write back, open this file, output.txt file, and write this variable value 
into my text file. So let me show you the output and then I explain you how it works. So in this example, we are reading three keywords. We want to read location, company, location and address. I am going to run this file. It read my file from procurement email. This is my file. Let me delete this file once again and process. It will read my file called procurement email, which read the entire email and I want to pick up the only required keywords, right? I want to pick up only company name, location and address. Isn't it? So system will my code will go through entire email and first it pick up the company keyword and entire line starting with company. Then it read the location starting with location read the entire line and third it read the addresses. This is the three required information we needed in this scenario. Once you read this information right back to another file. The name of the file is called output.txt. So this is your output file. As you see this file would be created when I execute this code. Dynamically when I execute this code the output file got created and it's the latest timestamp. It's a 1959. So this is my output. So if you read this file carefully it picked up only required information from your entire email. What I wanted to read we can further uh, you know keep as well. But in the first step I just wanted to read the file and putting into a meaningful format. So this is your source file, which is your email. From your email, it picked up only required keywords, the name of the company, the company name, the location of the company and the address of the company. Right? This is your outcome. So this is your input, this is your outcome. Let me run through this code once again, one by one. I'm going to clear, clear all variable and show you all variable value. I right click and clear all shell as well and I run it once again. I delete this file because I want to render this file once again. So like step by step, first you read the file. So the file name is a variable. You can see this is a complete file name, procurement email. Then it is going to open the file and the entire file would be read as a text file called file text. This is my entire file. Probably there's a character issue, but that's fine. Then I'm going to strip out opening and closing square braces. I want to strip out from here and if you look at further, I process it once again in my console. If you read this further, there is a variable called VAR and I strip out opening and closing square braces. If you do not strip out it, for example, I just make it as a comment, see what will happen. It will create it as object. I run it and this is a value of a variable. Let me uh, comment this everywhere. Or I just remove this for the sake of testing. CSV. I remove this code and execute this part of the code. You see this is the value of the variable. It cannot write directly, so I need to convert into a string, str, casting, and save it. Parenthesis should be balanced. So when you run it, you see, let me clear it once again and execute it for you. So when I run this code, you see it render an object called variable, and we have this is in terms of tuples. So company name, all the company. Right now we extract only company and then it will extract variable or location and uh, other information like address. So in order to write a data file, I wanted to convert to a string and remove this square braces. So if you look at your data file, the one we have created now, it is not into the format which I can read it. It is not in a meaningful format. Therefore, we strip out this square braces. In a similar fashion, you can strip out more character which you do not want. For the sake of simplicity, I kept it only few member and this is your entire code. So first you read company and put in a variable. Uh, let me uncomment this. 
first you read a company and, and write it to your uh, variable object and write it back find it to your text file output.txt you open your write mode then you look for location in the entire line starting with location strip out square braces and write it back to your text file and i use a new line character because i wanted to write in next row and finally you read address the entire line and strip out the square braces in a similar fashion you can strip out more character if you want it and i write a new line character write into my this value variable value into my file using write function and close both the files so finally as a result of this your this is your outcome this is your email address email information and uh sorry that's bad and that's your output right we extract the required information so that's it for today in the subsequent example i show you more advanced scenarios of doing text mining this was a basic example for beginners thank you